Amen. Yes, we already started looking at the solution to overcoming distraction, especially uh, um, the aspect of scheduling. We're looking at scheduling and how scheduling your time will help you identify uh, um, aspects, uh, um, suggestions, and the enemy's tactic to distract you. We are seeing this because we're looking at this because when you can have a visual image of your day in your, as you schedule, you have a mental picture of what you are expecting your day to look like. Meaning what? You need to write it down. Remember we said that yesterday? We say you need to write it down. Schedule your day not in your mind. Schedule it with pen and uh, paper and ink. Or do it in your phone. Make sure it is visual. If you are audio, if you are uh, somebody who is more um, audio visual, or you, you 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 listen more than you see, or a voice and sound make more sense to you, and then schedule with your voice. Go to your voice recording and schedule your day. What are we saying? We're saying that the scheduling we're teaching is very important. Don't make it a chore. Make it something you really enjoy and do it effectively. Schedule will make you more organized and to a point where distraction will easily be identified. I know it's a reputation, but I want you to get it. Amen. When you begin to schedule, we talked about you doing what? Going over your schedule every um, maybe end of the week or maybe after the end of a day. Some people do it every two weeks, some people a month, but I do it every week. I like to sit down every week at the end of the week, Friday or Saturday, and just look at my week and see where I did better or where I need to improve. So we're making another step today, looking at planning, how to effectively plan in order not to fall in the trap of distractions one schedule the things that are important to you first amen when you're planning schedule the things that are important to you first if you schedule things that um, are not important before you realize it you will use your day on the things that are not important worst of all if you don't schedule at all your time will always go to the direction of things that are not productive or useful. For example, a child of God with an understanding of the fact that they cannot do without daddy should start their day with the word or with prayer. One of those two should be the first thing you do. Um, assuming that um, those are the most important thing. Um, somebody, depending on your gifts, uh, or your callings as well. There are people that they will start their day first with uh, praise and worship, which is uh, excellent. But remember, we're saying don't make it a chore. Make it something you enjoy to do. There are people that will start their day by worshiping, praising and worshiping. There are people that will start their day by, first of all, studying the word of God um, or praying. And then after that, they will worship. Either way, make sure you schedule the things that are important to you first. And the things that you know affect your day first. I understand that some people want to schedule coffee or tea before. If that will actually help you be productive and can be able to catch distraction and overcome it, then go ahead. Remember, we're talking about your schedule. Not anyone and everyone's schedule. It's your schedule. The goal and the rule here is don't let the flesh dominate don't schedule from the flesh don't get up and the first thing you want to do is go to social media and say hello to everyone first before daddy that by itself is a big trap of distraction because you can stay there on facebook for 25 minutes maybe one hour without even realizing it and that's a good time to have worshipped or to have prayed amen so scheduling will help you do scheduling and as you schedule and you plan your day, distraction would not be as effective as if you did not. Amen. We are taking it really slowly with this particular segment of the teaching 
on, on overcoming because it is that important. If you can do these practical tips, put them into your life effectively, discipline yourself. Like Paul said, I don't want to be a castaway. I don't want to bring people into the kingdom, pray people into the kingdom, teach other people kingdom principles, and then I become a castaway. God forbid, right? So that's what we're teaching this, so that everyone here that lives on here at B for Global Impact, or follow us, our friends, our partners, our, our, our relatives, and everyone that is listening to us, we're teaching this so your life can be more productive. You can overcome anything and everything. Glory to God. Put them to use. Practice. When you make a mistake, don't sit there. Forgive yourself. Get up and practice. When you schedule and you're not able to keep to your schedule, reschedule. Amen and amen.